Today we are at Disney's Old Key West Resort. We're gonna go have some lunch. We've never been to this resort before, so we're kind of eager to look around. Okay, we've got a new mask for Caleb. He is loving these Disney masks. Yeah, so we have to use these masks for school because yeah. they need to be like non-character, very basic masks. Yeah, they have to be plain. But now that he's wearing these like fun Mickey ones, it's gonna be hard for him to transition yeah. out of these things, so. All right, but yeah, while we're here having fun in Disney, you can have these cool masks. Awesome. Does that feel oh, better? Oh, look at that one. You look like goofy. Awesome. I'm like looking around. I'm like, I don't, so we got to find this restaurant. Oh, it's right there. We're going to go grab some lunch at Olivia's. Sorry, it's really bright out here, but we're very <laughs> excited about this lunch. We actually put this up on Instagram to vote on whether or not we should go here versus another place. And mm -hmm. this one won overall. So. Oh, yeah, for sure. And I'm excited because I saw they have fried chicken. Yeah, Mike is a fried chicken guy for sure. <laughs> We've been eating so heavy, I'm gonna try to go healthy, but if fried chicken looks the best, that's what I'm gonna go with, so we'll see. So we just sat down. I didn't realize this, but we are one of the first seatings. They just opened up. So there's not many people in here, but I really like that because as you can see, this restaurant is very open and airy. There's a lot of room. It kind of gives you that really nice, relaxing, casual vibe. I think they're trying to go for, you know, they're trying to make it feel like you're in the Florida Keys. And I think they're doing a really great job. I'm very relaxed. As with most restaurants nowadays, we do have, again, the QR code lunch menu. And if you hold your camera up to the screen, you might be able to see it as well. As you can see, Caleb's joining us and we got him in his cool man's shirt. I think it's a perfect shirt for this restaurant. Absolutely. Absolutely. Can you say hi? Hi! <laughs> but I think this qualifies as a hidden Mickey right over Mike's head. So always be vigilant. Always see them on display. Mike is probably saying, I don't think I didn't so. See him. I don't know what you're looking <laughs> It's a plate right over the head. Blue. This one. Oh, I see. Okay. Yes. Yeah, probably. I'm sure the Imagineers thought of that of when course. they placed that plate there. For an appetizer, we are starting with the conch fritters. This is served with a key lime mustard and a remoulade, and it looks like they've given us some lemon and some lime to squeeze over. They look so good. All right, so it looks like we have a good amount in here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So I think we're going to have at least two for each of us. So that's awesome. So, grab one. So I'm guessing this is, these are the two dips. I'm actually gonna probably grab a little bit of citrus and squeeze some on top. And I'm gonna try one of each of the dips. You want to try some? Okay. Yeah. All right, so you can see on the inside, like perfect fritter texture, consistency. All right, here we go. I don't know if this is finger food or not, but it's gonna be for me right now, so. Mm. So it's a great fritter, perfectly crunchy on the outside. Inside, the flavors are phenomenal, and these dips pair very well. I really like this mustard one. I'm gonna give the remoulade a shot right now. I'm happy we ordered these. These are phenomenal. I actually think Caleb's gonna like these a lot, too. These are very, very delicious, and I like the sauces because they're very different. I think it's the mustard one. That one's got a little bit of a kick to it, so. But the remoulade is a classic remoulade. But like I said, there's a little bit of spice in the mustard. I like that. All right, here we go. Good choice. Is it yummy? Yeah, we told you it was yummy. Does it get a thumbs up? <laughs> Caleb has requested a little bit of lemon squeezed on top of his fritter. <laughs> That's a Such a little, a little foodie. Little. Oh, and here comes his lunch. Oh, perfect. Thank um, you. I'll have the fruit out in just a moment. Okay, perfect. great. 
All right, and so here is Caleb's lunch. This is the kids create your own. We went with the buttermilk fried chicken and we've got him some green beans and a fruit cup. Fruit cup is on the way. Yeah. And here is his fruit cup. This is a nice little lunch, Caleb. What do you think? Are you excited? Yes. Yes. Yum. Food. Okay, yes, we'll put that out of the way. Go for it, man. If Caleb's kid's chicken is any indication of mine, I'm very excited. It does look good. <laughs> smells good. So if this is any indication, I keep on wanting to go back and grab those fritters, but again, yes. I know the entrees are on their way, so I'm trying to hold back. But in a blink of an eye, all of Caleb's grapes are gone, just like that. <laughs> He, lo he, lo he knows what he loves. He eats what he loves very quickly and fast. Um, you know, lately he's been a little bit of a picky eater because we used to have like the amazing like eater little, little dude was always good at trying everything. Right. But now we're having to try to figure out what his mood's gonna be for the day. So uh, I think he's gonna like this chicken, but who knows, we'll see, right? I think we had all these extra dips. I think he'll definitely like that. For my entree, I got the Conk Flats Club Sandwich. And this includes roasted turkey, bacon, lettuce, tomato, and mayonnaise on a multi-grain toast served with french fries. So when you have a kid, sometimes you have to order very quickly and I was on the fence between my two decisions, so I ordered impromptu and I forgot, of course, that a traditional club sandwich comes with tomato. I'm not a big fan of tomatoes, so I just took that off, but Mike is a burger guy. I'm a club sandwich guy. This is my staple meal. If they have it on the menu, I typically go after that. The bacon's crisp, the turkey's fresh, light on the mayo, which I like because sometimes it just douse way too much on that. And I like that it's on multi-grain because I feel like I'm a little bit healthier, but I love this sandwich, it's really good. Now time to try the fries, which I'm having to fight Caleb off just to even try some of these. It's really good. Like, I'm not sure if you can see. Let me see if you can see that. But there's like some sort of like dusting on there, like a Cajun dusting. It definitely adds like a little bit of a good flavor to it. There we go. So it gives a little bit of a kick, which I like. And for my entree, I got the southernmost buttermilk chicken. This comes with mashed potatoes, southern gravy, biscuit, and seasonal vegetables. And while I was filming Steve, I was drooling because I can smell my fried chicken coming up. It smells so good. And as you can see, it's got a little bit of this white gravy on top. I think this is gonna be delicious. Let's dig in. This fried chicken is very, very good. It's nice and juicy. It's got a really nice crusting on the outside, or not crusting, but like the breading. Is that what it's called? And then that gravy brings it home. This is classic comfort food. I'm so happy. Now, did you expect it to come out that way? I always think fried chicken, I expect it to be on the bone, like a couple different pieces. Right. So were you expecting this to be like the chicken breast? I guess I don't, I didn't really think about it too much. Yeah. When they set it down, I was like, oh, this looks delicious. Yeah, it looks like chicken fried chicken is what it looks like. Yes, it does. That's a good point. I, th I would agree with that, yes. And let me try these mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes are good. They're a little bit more kind of like your typical Disney Resort mashed potatoes. I would say nothing to write home about, but the chicken is delicious. You want to film you? Oh, it's Caleb. I like how he says film me and he immediately turns his eye down, right? But I'll admit, Mike, this is the first time he ate cantaloupe, so. Oh, really? Yeah. As you can see, I am going to town on this dish. It is so delicious, and I have to say, the green beans are cooked really, really well. They taste delicious, and this buttermilk biscuit is heavenly. As much as I'm really liking all the food options we have here, I actually really want to try Mike's fried chicken. It's almost gone, so I'm asking for a favor here, so we'll see. You here? It smells good. So overall, I really do like the spice flavor and the breading. Like it's, it's got a good like overall flavor, like very southern fried chicken flavor to it. So I think it's really good. I almost don't think it needs a lot of gravy on it, but it's definitely smothered in it, but because the chicken's good on its own. Um, I'm gonna try a little bit of mashed potatoes. Now Mike said it does look like it's a basic Disney mashed potato, but I noticed that there's skin on so at least we know it's not powdered mashed potatoes. Yeah, it's, it's a more rustic style mashed potato. Those are good, but if you ever see Mike make mashed potatoes at home, this needs like four more sticks of butter in it. <laughs> so it's good. I think overall... Try, try the biscuit, because I know you are a biscuit guy. I am. I am. Alright, you can already tell it's nice and flaky. 
got a good buttery smell. All right, so we had the amazing conch fritters to start with. We had very good size entrees here. I'm totally stuffed. In fact, I'm gonna take half my sandwich back to our condo just because I'm that full. So I think I'm gonna pass on dessert, Mike. I'm pretty full too, yeah. Okay. But I think this will kind of do it for us from food items here. Uh, so I actually enjoyed this, I, I really did. I had low expectations because um, I don't hear a lot of people raving about this, except for the fried chicken, but um, I come back here again, absolutely. It is so delicious. I'm very happy we came here, but we are stuffed. We can't get dessert. <laughs> well, we can't get also, dessert. Also, we can, but you know, we got something better. Well, we have all those Gideon cookies at home, too. Yes, we do. So. As you know, Mike said he cannot eat cookies all week long. <laughs> I beg to differ. <laughs> I think I devoured that. <laughs> what was it, the original chocolate chip? The original chip? chocolate chip? Yeah, it's gone. Oh, okay, cool. I got a small little bite of that one. <laughs> Remember, I was like, I'll, I'll, I'll reinsert the clip here. It's very, very good. I do like it. But like I said, <laughs> I'm I think I'm good. Oh, it's gosh. So After one rich. bite. It's so rich and sweet. I'll take another bite. I could only have one Just bite of these. one bite. <laughs> one bite. And, and what I say, before the champagne starts flowing, that's, that's brave, confident Mike, right? <laughs> No, we don't want to. Sh we're not going to show another family or child. But Caleb has made a friend on the other side of the aisle here at the restaurant. So hi. You have a new friend. Hey, Oh well, I don't want to put the camera on them. Okay, they might not want that. <laughs> Thank God for distractions. Thank God for distractions. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and that's going to do it for us here at Olivia's Cafe. It was an amazing meal, a lot of comfort food left and right, yeah. but I think all together we are leaving very full, very satisfied. For sure. I definitely recommend this restaurant if you can check it out yourself. Yeah, definitely. My food was great, it really was. Well, we hope you liked this video. Give us a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe, and from our magic family to yours, enjoy. enjoy.